Hey there guys, welcome to the homestead where life gets crazy full of fish tanks and house plants. So today's video, I want to talk about floating aquarium plants dying on people. I'm getting constant messages regarding questions and talking about my floating plants. Why? Because I'm the master at them. We have Sylvania Minima right here. We have dwarf water lettuce. We have regular water lettuce. We have duckweed for days. We just literally have every floating aquarium plant here in the house. And I wanna do a video telling you why your floating aquarium plants are dying. Okay, so let's deep dive into this. Number one, let's go over here in my office. Turn on the light here. This is where I do a lot of uh, cool podcasts and such. So, and also guys, subscribe to my main channel, Palmer Aquatics, aquarium life, baby, because it's literally life. So, uh, let's kill the lights here for a little better view. Shut the door. Okay, so there's a couple aspects that you need with floating aquarium plants to succeed. Let's take the, the covers off of here. So, this is for the most part duckweed. As you can see, there's maybe some Sylvania Minima in there. It's like the, the Sylvania, actually that's not Minima. Minima has like the little hairs on it. This is what the minima looks like. It almost looks like a cat tongue. This is maybe one of the sturdiest plants in the house. Um, but you can see here, some of these plants are dying. And what happens is the number one reason aquarium floating plants die on people is a handful of reasons. Number one is going to be surface flow. If you have a hang on the back filter, you know, the ones that go on the back, and they have a stream that's coming out and it's creating a lot of current, aquarium floating plants do not like that. What the heck is this extension cord for? I don't like that. Um, but yeah, floating aquarium plants do not like any surface agitation or movement. They like stagnant water. I really like saying that word, stagnant. So as you can see, I have just a basic sponge filter in here. That's what, we're had. That's what we have in all the tanks. Literally this sponge filter right here. And what we do is we just make sure that, you know, the sponge filter has enough flow to where it's barely kind of moving water. Uh, this one is a little bit, this is perfect. See, I can move this up. That's literally all the flow I want. And you might be asking yourself, well, that's crazy, Chris. I know it is, right? But here's the thing. The floating plants, once you get these to take off and excel, this is a far superior filtration than the filter itself. But the filter's still working, just not super powerfully. And um, look at these, look at these wag platties. They're so beautiful. By the way, this tank is looking awesome. This is a uh, Litwigia repens, and this is a crazy moss. Um, we are trying to breed the the platies in here, so we got some heavy coverage. But yeah. Your, your, your floating aquarium plants are dying because you have too much flow. Uh, that is the number one scenario in which it happens. Get yourself a sponge filter just like so, and you can get them on Amazon. They're like super cheap and easy. They are powered by a air pump. I have videos on that as well. The second reason your aquarium plants are failing and dying is because your aquarium light needs to be lifted. A lot of people don't think of this because if your light is just sitting on top of your aquarium, it's literally not spreading out the light diversity, like the, the rays, uh, the pars, technically, I guess you can call them. And uh, essentially, it's not spread out, and it's just in one section, and you're most likely just going to torch and burn those floating aquarium plants. And they don't like that. So what I advise you do is to lift up your aquarium light a little bit. Here's a good example. I just set up this rack over here. These are two tens. This is even a little bit high. I would say maybe like four to six inches at height. I just went a little higher just because, um, I don't know, it's not a huge deal. But as you can see, these floating plants are doing amazing and they are not dying. And it's a huge deal when you get these floating plants to take off and do well in your aquarium because it's crazy amounts of filtration. Um, what else here? Let's look at some other tanks here. All, all of my tanks upstairs have floating plants. Um, and you'll also find that some aquarium plants do better in some tanks than others, you know, because I have tons of different styles of lighting and sometimes just the tank parameters, some floating plants do better. So if you can get your hands on a couple different types, uh, chances are the one that takes off is going to, 
and like this in here, this is a mixture of duckweed and giant duckweed and it looks to be like Sylvania Minima. But I literally just threw this in here to trial it. So this is a really fancy light. I can kind of like fine tune the spectrum and colors of it. It's really cool. But you might not have something like that. You honestly don't even need it, if I'm being honest. Here's a super basic light. Um, the light lighting, as far as aquarium floating plants, anything between a 5,000K to 6,500. This is kind of a like, uh, the 5,000K is more yellow versus the 6500k is more of a white light so and that's what most aquarium lights are uh what you want is kind of just like a cheap amazon bright led light aquarium light it's that simple so guys without further ado uh hit up the comment section let me know what you think of my tanks this might be the best looking tank in the house right now this is a pea puffer tank it's my girlfriend's tank she's amazing at aquascaping look at that little pea puffer there's uh, some pea puffers in there and we are having algae issues because, uh, you know, um, there's just not a lot of bio load. So kind of things were getting stagnant. So we threw an air stone in there and we threw some otosynchless catfish in here and it's doing amazing. So I just did a full chop down on this tank. It was covered in rotala. It was getting out of hand. We had mollies in there. They were killing it. Um, it's a long story. So what I did is I removed the mollies and I chopped back all of the rotala plant. Hopefully it comes back. <clears throat> but yeah, I moved the mollies over here. Black mollies, um, this tank was growing tons of algae and I figured the mollies would just kind of feed on it and it would be a great scenario. But yeah, so let's put these lids back on. I kind of use these just for like reflecting, refracting light kind of onto my live stream. So, all right guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Let me know in the comment section. Hopefully this helps you kind of fix your issues with fixing your aquarium plants uh, if they're dying on you. Uh, or the floating plants, I should say, not regular plants, I'm an idiot. Come on, come on, buddy. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. If you guys want help, I will be there. So, woo -hoo!